When needed, these mammalian cells are added to culture medium, where they are held in suspension. As the cells divide and multiply, the volume of culture medium can be further expanded. A major advantage of this new process is that the amount of culture medium can be easily increased to meet demand, something that is not possible in egg-derived vaccine production. Active influenza virus is then added to the cell culture, where the viruses attach themselves to and are taken up by the host cells. Once inside the cells, the virus gets uncoated and releases its nucleic acid molecules, which head for the cell nucleus, where the viral replication takes place. The newly replicated viruses then leave the host cell to spread the infection further. The influenza virus can then be harvested in a carefully controlled purification process designed to remove any contaminants from the influenza vaccine. First, the viruses are separated from the rest of the culture medium, including cell fragments, until only the virus remains. Only the virus remains. Then the viruses are inactivated and split to remove their viral RNA, leaving only the virus protein coat. Finally, the surface proteins are solubilized to leave only the virus's surface antigens.